the two fighters come to the center of the ring for the instructions from referee Lou Filippo. Ask any American who grew up in the 80s how Apollo Creed's death affected them. All right, it's time to go to school, son. Huh? More often than not, it's the defining moment in their lives. Time to go to school. You will lose. Apollo Creed was the original Captain America. He was a superhero. The 1980s have been born in turmoil, strife, and change. Michael Jordan comes close, but Apollo Creed, he stands alone. He would be the equivalent of LeBron James dying in the middle of an NBA game. Everybody thought the Russian champ was just a novelty. But when Apollo died, nobody was laughing. A lot of people started to question freedom. If he dies, if he dies. Maybe freedom was wrong. America. If a communist champion could defeat an American, what hope did we have for the country? I remember as a child, school was canceled. All schools were closed the day Apollo was buried. Imagine the thing you love most in this world. Now imagine Russia punching it to death. That's how America felt. Drago is the most perfectly trained athlete ever. Ever. This other man has not the size, the endurance, or the genetics to win. It's physically impossible for this little man to win. Apollo was like my son. I raised him. Apollo was to Rocky, what Dr. Dre is to Eminem. Champ, there's been no mention of it yet, but how much are you making for this fight? No money. It's not about money. You're the one that's going to make sure that he didn't die for nothing. Where? It's in Russia. Are you nuts? Rocky, what's going on? Why did you agree to this? We fight in Soviet Union, but we fight no one. Rocky didn't just carry the hopes and dreams of an American nation. He carried the hopes and dreams of the free world. The Russians were threatening democracy. It's all lies and false propaganda, but perhaps the simple defeat of this little so-called champion will be a perfect example of how pathetic and weak your society has become. You know what you gotta do. Do it. Do it. Freedom was under attack. We needed a hero. We needed something to rally around. It was universally accepted that whichever side won the boxing match would win the Cold War. That's what was on the line. It's gonna become a very dangerous place. See, we're born with a killer instinct that you can't just turn off and on. We have to be right in the middle of the action because we're the warriors. Who knew that this boxer would become a symbol of America? The hopes and dreams of an entire country. He gave the country a reason to stand up and proudly wave the flag. Everybody and Merry Christmas from a very unusual place. We're in Moscow in the Soviet Union. And high above us, the General Secretary of the Soviet and other members of the Politburo have now made their way to their seats high above the ring here in Moscow. Everything we had as a nation was teetering on the edge of destruction. This boxing match was easily the biggest political event since the Cuban Missile Crisis. And now the entrance of the Russian national champion, Ivan Drago, a man with an entire country in his corner. Senior 
the greatest boxer of all time versus the unbeatable Russian. They're toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The Russian towers above the American. It's a true case of David and Goliath here. It's unbelievable, the, the, the condition of both men, but the Russian... I must break you. It looked like Apollo Creed Part 2. Um, what's happening out there? He's winning. I see three of them out there. Get the one in the middle. Right! Get the one in the middle. All hope seem lost. But then... He freedom punched that copy. You grabbed a Rocky was hurt, but he was on his feet. Communism to death. One more round. Wind's gonna knock you out. You gotta punch and punch. You can't punch no more. This is all life. surprise that after Quigon met Annie's mother, that the little Ewok between her legs ended up looking like Chewbacca got hit in the face with the banana cream pie. Apollo was to Rocky, what Dr. Dre was to Eminem. He freedom punched that commie. He had won the Cold War with his fists.